So, Dr. Fetke, who writes <clears throat> medical <laughs> textbooks or or uh, the dietitians' te textbooks? Who's writing those well, textbooks or influencing well, so, them? So, we've got the pharmaceutical. I mean, I, I, there, there are three groups. You've got the big food, which are protecting their corporate profits. If the food pyramid worked. I'd say fine, but it doesn't. It, and we know, particularly on a day to day basis, as an individual, or if I put a glucose monitor on someone who's has type two diabetes or is pre diabetes, which is at least two thirds of the population, I can show that their blood glucose spikes when they have carbohydrate. When you I actually think a lot of symptoms come with that rapid rise and drop. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you I've got people who don't have diabetes, and they do this. Yes. And in fact, if I if I go along and give myself sugar or carbs, so I gave a talk once, which I not that long ago, had a CGM and I had two bananas at the beginning of it, so normal blood glucose. And by 20, 30 minutes later, I was in diabetes zone. I started losing my voice. And it's literally, you feel crook as a dog when, excuse the term, but literally when you're having these ups and down, it's, and it's the body, it's this, and you know, if you've got type one and you've moved into this like this with your blood glucose, your life has improved immensely. Richard Bernstein's law of small numbers, small amounts of carbs in means lower doses of insulin, which means less highs and less lows and less roller coaster. It, it, what, it's such a complete no brainer, except we've been told you've got to have your carbs. Carbs are essential. You've got to have your grains. You've got to have your fruits. And effectively, that's all just been made up. One question. So the guy I definitively described fructose. I said, Professor Tappy, is there a human biochemical requirement for us to ingest fructose? I knew the answer. I warned him that I was going to ask him the question publicly. And the answer is no. We do not need to ingest a single bit of fructose. So that was fructose. Um, so how is glucose metabolized? I mean, glucose is used by virtually every cell in our body. If someone's eating just pure glucose, for example, is it as harmful as fructose to their overall metabolic health? I think so in a different way. You said that glucose is utilized by all cells. Glucose can be utilized by all cells. Two things I want to dwell on, which aren't really well known. And one is, um, have you heard of the glycocalyx? No. It's the biggest organ in the body. Okay, so most people think, oh, the skin's the biggest organ. But we've got in the glycocalyx is the lining of all of our blood vessels, particularly our arteries and our tiny little artery, arterioles and the capillaries. And it's like this sheath, like these little fingers that actually move the blood along the bloodstream, the, the little, move the red blood cells, the white blood cells, particularly through the capillaries. And it creates that sweeping motion. Nitric oxide opens that up at the tissue level so the red blood cell can be pushed down the path because the biochemistry is simple you know when you break it down there is no human biochemical requirement for carbohydrate plant-based foods are incomplete in proteins incomplete in healthy fats incomplete in micronutrients is it any surprise that 40 to 50 percent of those people who have irritable bowel syndrome have a fructose intolerance what are your thoughts on fasting well, where does fasting come in well in our ancestry our evolution is based on the fact that we did not have access to food all of the time and our fasting state not only is definitely part of our ancestry uh, so yes to fasting okay i think it's got benefits we know that from a development aspect it has benefits we know from an autophagy and a mitophagy aspect that has benefits. And in that, and in that, that's a reduction of inflammation. It's a reduction in insulin, as you referred to. It's a reduction uh, of, um, allows the body to actually get on and actually start healing. So they benefit from being in a state of ketosis. They don't like alcohol. So that alcohol can come from what you drink or it can come from what you eat in fructose that gets converted to alcohol.